Hello and welcome to a new video about measurements. This time we are going to talk about amplifiers. If we want to amplify a signal. How is this working? Well, we usually draw on this symbol here. Huh? So there is a symbol. Huh? Just made some square. Huh? It has connectors here and here and an output uh, and there is a said so okay there's some simply a gain uh, there is simply some sort of gain uh, this was this was our amplifier well we can think about that amplifier uh, by an input controlled source all right so for instance for instance here is my amplifier the input i can always think about uh an, an input resistance all right so there here's the input there's always some internal measurements resistor resistance should be written in the data sheet of the amplifier somewhere yeah this is and the input okay and the output is a controlled source of whatever kind whatever output signal i need for instance if i need a voltage output there's a voltage source yeah it has also some sort of internal of internal resistance. This is how this might look like. Yeah. All right, here M, and these are right R I for internal source, and this is the measurement resistance. And let's say my signal here is U. Yeah? This is the input, UE, and here is my output, UA. Yeah. So the input is controlling the output voltage of this, of this voltage source here. All right. What must the input, the input resistance be? Ideal, it must be unlimited. Yeah. And this should be zero. Yeah. But then whatever is the load here for this voltage source is not in there is no voltage drop here if this resistance is zero huh? this would be ideal huh? this thing here is called because it is gaining a u to a u this is called a u u amplifier And the gain factor, yeah, KU, is delta UA divided by delta UE. Yeah? So it's volt by volt. Okay. This would be a UU amplifier. However, if I don't need an, an, an voltage output here, if I don't need this, I can use, I can control, draw, try to draw the same square, yeah. the same input, totally the same input. Yeah. Here we have our measurement voltage, our measurement input. Here we have our our signal input. This shall also be a voltage UE. So my measurement resistance shall be unlimited. And I'm now this time I'm not controlling a voltage source, I'm controlling a current source. Yeah? So there is a current source. Yeah? Also here I have in internal resistor and this ri here 
shall be unlimited because here I have an IA, an output current. Okay, here the input is voltage and the output is a current signal. And therefore, this is called UI amplifier. And the, the gain factor, Kg, delta Ia divided by delta Ue. So this is amps by volt. Hmm? UU amplifier, Ui amplifier. But not only voltage is the input, there might be also, you know, you can code your information in level of voltage or in level of ampere. Okay, so there is also uh, an on the input side different different inputs possible. Huh? So if I have another possibility huh, that here basically it looks the same, so I have a measurement resistance. Rm. However, now we have mainly an input, i.e. input, I will always write e because it's Eingang in German, okay, i.e. input, input current. Huh? So if I want to measure current, this here shall be zero, right? And if I'm controlling with my measured current, yeah, I'm controlling again a voltage source this Ri shall also be zero and I have an output value Ua how do you guess is this amplifier code? it's an EU amplifier I'm converting an, an, an current signal to a voltage signal. Yeah? And the, the gain factor is delta Ua divided by delta Ie. Yeah? So this is volts by amps. And now it's really hard to guess, I think, the fourth variant. Yeah? Input again current signal and now what is missing output also current signal so I have a current source here source source <laughs> I'm thirsty RR shall be unlimited in this case and we have here an output voltage IA huh? And this thing here is called an I-I amplifier. I-I amplifier. Yeah? Ki is delta Ia divided by delta Ie. And this is amps by amp. So we can think about... We can think about... Uh, uh, amplifier by some sort of input controlled source all right the source has some some internal resistance this ri and this ri makes problems all right this ri makes simply problems because what i want from a signal is 
that it is not changing regardless if I connect, I don't know, don't know a PLC and 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 measure another measurement device, a display device or something like this. And if I connect many of them, I want that this, the output signals of the amplifier stay constant. This is called impressed value, impressed voltage or impressed current. What exactly is needed to have such behavior, we will discuss in next video. So next video we are going to discuss about the outputs, about the so-called impressed values. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.